Craft is a new tool for making notes and documents. And I'm going to create a document and show you what I think is really special about Craft. So I'm just giving this a quick title, just like you would any other document. And what I'm going to do is create a card. A card is a distinct feature of Craft. It's kind of a sub page. So I'm going to call this Beyond PowerPoint because this is a page I'm going to make about uh, presentations. So I'm going to take this heading and rather than just typing stuff under it, I'm going to click into it, inside of it, and now I'm making a sub page. And you'll see why this is relevant in just a moment. I'm actually going to put a couple of different links in here and I'm going to put a few different slide presentation tools that I really like, like beautiful.ai, which makes great graphics. And I'm also going to put in pitch.com and projector. Um, these are all really cool slide tools. So I'm just going to stop there for a second. And I'm going to go back to the original page. And now here, um, I just have a headline and then some sub information within that. But what I'm going to do is turn that into a card. And this is where this tool, this, this app really shines. Um, so now we've got a card that kind of previews what's inside this page. And we can choose different designs for that. We can choose different fonts as well, although I like the modern font. And we can choose uh, a full size or a smaller thumbnail, depending on you know what else is going to go on the page. So for now, I'm going to choose this size horizontal card. And again, I can change around the backgrounds, but I'm, I'm kind of liking uh, this basic kind of a look. I can also, by the way, choose custom images. And this is kind of cool too. I can choose something that I upload from my desktop or I can actually upload something, um, just use something from um, Unsplash. Um, for now, let's just go with this one and we can go back and add things to this page, this kind of sub page as it were, um, which is called a card. And I'm going to add a little headline here, um, new tools for slick, to slick slides, not six slides. Um, and I can just use the command plus or command minus to change the look of that. I can also do some cool stuff like I can highlight it and then use the highlighter to make it um, shine in yellow. Um, and I can make it a focus block or, um, or a block block um, to add different kinds of looks to it, looks and feels. I could change the color of the text. I can do other kinds of design things. I can change the font. But for now, I'm, I'm happy with that. And um, now I'm going to add a couple more tools. Um, so these are secondary slide, or sec these are slide um, alternatives. And these are some other tools that I can use, like um, slides.com or um, slide bean is another one. Um, and um, another one is um, haiku deck. And I'm going to also change this headline here. This time I'm going to um, change it to a heading style by using the slash command. So a slash command is a cool thing in here as well where you can type a slash and then choose any number of different options like you can do in Notion or in other tools. Um, you can insert the date and time here. You can um, you know, put in other kinds of stuff like the file upload, for example. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave the page like this. Um, for consistency's sake, I will give it a styling of this type of highlight. You can also use different colors um, for your highlights as well, but, um, but for consistency's sake, I will choose this one. Um, and now um, we can also add a page, a quick divider um, between these sections. Um, so I'm going to um, um, insert a line separator, a strong separator, to just separate these sections out. And I'm going to go back to the previous page. And we can see that we now have little previews of those two subsections in this card. And now I can create another card about something else or another page. So, um, so why, why to move um, beyond PowerPoint? Let's say I'm making the case for it. So now I can, um, I can make this into a heading style as well. And now I can make this into a page. And um, let's say this is going to be something like you know three reasons uh, to try new slide tools, um, presenting in bullet point style is old fashioned, um, new tools allow you to create 
much more dynamic presentations and um, and a new generation of slide tools lets you collaborate more efficiently online. So I can group these now and move them around. I can change them using these side headings over here. I can use the kind of bullet style. I can also use a toggle here, which is something that you can do in, in Notion or other tools. So if I turn this into a toggle, I can then grab these three things here and sort of drag them into that toggle so that when I toggle this close, these um, show up underneath only when it's opened. Um, and um, I'm gonna undo that toggle and just leave it bullet point style. And now I'm gonna add an image to this page and I can actually pull an image from Unsplash. And I'm gonna pull, do a quick search for let's say slide um, slides and see what we come up with um, just to give some kind of a, a visual feel to this page. One thing I can also do is actually give the page a header, um, a header image. So I'm gonna go in here and switch from this tab that was looking at the font and style and design and switch to one that looks at the overall page setup. And I'm just gonna drag this up to the top of the page um, to move that image here and um, that gives the page a nice visual heading. I can show the author name, I can change it, um, the spacing and the, the styling of this page too, but I like the, the, uh, the default style. You'll notice here I also see a, um, a um, kind of word count for this page and character count, et cetera, et cetera, in case that's helpful. Even, even gives me the reading time for the page, which is a kind of a unique touch. And over here, I can actually kind of use find some shortcuts to move things up and down. So I can just drag um, a, a particular bullet if I want to. If I grab this line, I can just kind of pull it up, um, up or down, or rename it, or move it um, pretty easily. And um, and I'm going to go back to the main page. So now we've got a page um, within this overall page, this overall document. We've also got a card. But I like the look of the card, so I'm actually gonna change this. I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna make this a card as well. And now I can see, again, that I have different styles and I'm gonna go for this style and maybe this kind of a look or, um, let's see, what's one I like? Um, that's a bit too much maybe for now. I like that style, nice and simple and clear. And again, I can pull in something different as a background image from um, Unsplash, but I'm just gonna go with that style. So now I'm building a page with multiple different cards, and I can also put in text here as well and on this page itself, but to me, this is the way to assemble a really elegant page really easily and quickly. And now when I want to, um, now I can share this page um, to the web or by email or anything else. So I'm gonna make this uh, mess around with this headline a little bit, um, just to illustrate that again. And now I'm going to go over to the to the share and publish tab. Now I can make this a secret link, which is basically just making the page public. And I can choose whether I want to let people comment, whether I want to hide comments or show comments, show the title, and I can then copy this link. And now I can go over and show it on the web. So if I open up the browser and paste in this link. I'm going to be able to pull up this page and this is what the link I could share with anyone uh, else who I want to show the page to and they can interact with it just as I was interacting with it within Craft. So that's one of the nice features is that they can quickly engage with the page just as, um, just as I would if I were owning it, um, running it myself. So this is another page I made for a recent presentation. You can see there's all different subsections and if I click through to one of these pages, you'll see that it opens nicely as kind of a drawer with nice preview images. I can add videos, I can add other links, and I'm quickly able to navigate back to um, the page. This is another page that I made about slides, and you can see how it has a nice visual look, and it can have sub pages or sub cards. And this is a whole new way to think about presenting a document just by taking notes as you normally would or putting together a document as you normally would. So that's to me the elegance of craft. That's what I love about it so far. 
and I hope you'll like it too as you as you use it. Um, and you can use it on your phone, on your iPhone, on the iPad, or on the web, or in the Mac client. Um, so it has a lot of different uh, versatility. As long as you're in the Apple ecosystem, um, I'm sure the other ecosystems will follow soon. So that's a little preview of uh, of Craft, and uh, and I hope you have fun trying it out.